Do you believe how crazy it was today? I do. Dad was hysterical. I don't know where he comes up with his lines. If that man were younger, we could put him up on stage and pack the house. If he were younger, I'd marry him. Go, Digger. Well, yeah. He's worth a million bucks. I would never have to work again. You? He's 84 years old. And besides, you know you would miss all of us. Well, maybe. So, Brad, will it be your usual? Am I that predictable? Like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> no, I'll be different. Let me have the BLT with avocado, with pepper jack cheese, mayo, actually no mayo, lightly toasted sourdough, cut in a triangle. You do realize that sourdough bread is oblong? And a Coke with that, please. Allie, you never get the same thing twice. What'll it be today? See that? Always keep them wondering. I will have the barbecue pork on toasted French bread, a potato salad, and a Sprite. Put it on my tap. So, I pushed Ted forward with the surgery, and you know what he said? Enlighten me. He asked me to send my 16-year-old daughter over to his house to help him to rehabilitate. Yep. Sounds like Ted. The younger the better. I was taking his blood pressure, and he said I was making his pressure rise. I asked if I was upsetting him, and his response was, Honey, you make everything rise. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the evening news. 84-year-old millionaire marries his 30-year-old live-in nurse. Wait, I'm only 25. So you would say yes? Oh no. I wouldn't be his nurse. I'd be too busy spending his money and driving my sweet Lambo. <laughs> Can you make sure he put me in his wheel? After all, I'm the one who's going to give life back to him. I can see that. Front page paper, Dr. Brad Billings saves multi-millionaire and gets back his life. So now he's a multi-millionaire. Well, I'm just looking out for my future kids. With who? How many do you think that man is going? Uh, okay. <laughs> this is just getting weird. All right, the ready. Do you want to just sit here? I'm starving. Sure. 